The idea of what I have going here is to have everything set up, be able to come through that door right there, sit down in this chair, pull it up here, and be able to crack out a song like that. Not have to worry about setting everything up. What's up everybody? My name is Matthew Stratton. Welcome back to the channel. So it's 2022 and I need a change. I have my desk set up right here. What I wanna do in this video is actually move my desk from this side of the room to the other side of the room and I wanna show you what I'm actually working with for 2022. Check it out. All right, so I'm gonna start on the left side of this desk and go to the right, but before I go into that, this is the platform desk by Output. Hashtag not sponsored, but I did buy this desk. I have been using it, I've been really enjoying it, and it's just very sturdy, and you know, I feel like I could use this desk for many years to come and be okay with it. If you look over here, I got a coaster with water. You can see this water has got a top on it, so I don't have to worry about it spilling. This right here is a headphone stand for my headphones and I have the Audio-Technica. Let me go get those real fast. This is something I got off of Amazon where I could put my headphones. But this is where it was before I moved it, so I just left it there for now. Now you notice I left this part of the desk blank. And this is where I'm gonna like take notes and do different things or if I have notes I need to look at, I could put them here. You can see right here. You know, I got some things, but I'm going to school now so I need to study and then also bring notes in here and actually like use the notes of what I'm actually learning at school. And I'm going to school for music production right now, so that's why I'm talking about school. If you look right here, here is my MPC-1. This thing is a beast of a instrument. If you look at it, it is gray because I put a skin on it. Kai comes out with these new ones and they're like different colors and everything, but in my head, it's like I already have the MPC, so why I'm gonna pay $800 for a new one. So I just get the skin and I can make it whatever color I want. Now the great thing about the MPC-1 is you could do a lot of sampling, a lot of music production. Pretty much you can make full songs on here. Okay, now this is a standalone device. It doesn't need to be connected to the computer. Now I do have outputs of this, some actual physical outputs going into my station here so I can monitor it through my speaker. So this is the Prestonus monitor station two. I'll get to this in a second. But if you look, this goes through here. So now all I have to do is hit a button and I'm able to hear it. So if I hit play on this, this is a song I made, right? I can control the volume here, right? I can control the sources of what's actually going to my speakers here. And you know, there's a lot of things I can do with that. I have these Amazon basic stands here and is basically putting it at an angle because the screen on here is flat and it's kind of a pain to see when it's further away from you. And the same with this one here. Now this is the Ableton Push 2. You can make full songs with this, but the thing about Ableton Push 2 is you do need a computer to use it. The MPC-1, you don't need your computer to use it, but that's not to say that this can't be a controller for the MPC software and the computer. So basically what I can do is make songs on here. Like I made this song, right? Now this is completely standalone, but I can take this song, save it to my computer, Pull it up in the MPC VST, which is right here. Okay, so this is the MPC software. This can control that, right? But this software is actually inside of Ableton as well. So I could take my beat from here, from standalone, and put it into here when I'm ready. And then when I hit play here, that's actually coming from Ableton. Okay. I want to say thank you very much for watching the video so far. I really appreciate that you're watching this. Do me a favor, comment below. Like, let me know what you think about some of this equipment. Do you use the MPC-1? Are you interested in the MPC-1? Do you use Ableton Live? Are you interested in Ableton Live? Do you use a different DAW or digital audio workstation? What programs do you like to use? What do you prefer? You know what I'm saying? Like what audio interface do you prefer? Let's like start a little bit of a discussion below if you want. Now I have a lot of videos about how to use the MPC software and you, there are audio tracks inside of the MPC software and I have recorded guitars and different things and released these songs inside of the MPC. But Ableton has just released that new Ableton 11, I believe it is. Inside of Ableton 11, there is an update to audio tracks where you can record an audio track and then you can keep taking different takes on one audio track and you don't have to do separate audio tracks for it. So since I'm gonna do a lot of recording with my guitars and basses and different things over here, you know, I wanna have those 
options to use the audio tracks inside of Ableton. The idea of what I have going here is to have everything set up, be able to come through that door right there, sit down in this chair, pull it up here, and be able to crack out a song like that. Not have to worry about setting everything up. So next to the Ableton push, we got our PreSonus station here. We got our Zen Go. And then we got our JBL speakers right here. Now if you look back here, these are the JBL Series 3's MK2. I did an unboxing video of this. Um, these are pretty good. You got the connection here. Okay, and these are my um, Mogwai cables. So I got these going into my um, PreSonus so I can hear things. Now Antelope Audio sent me this to do a video and I did a video. So if you wanna check that video out, see the card. Okay, but what I wanna do is actually test this thing out a little bit more than what I did in that video. So that's why I have it here. Now this audio interface interacts with my computer and that actually interacts with Ableton Live. So I set Ableton Live up to use my Zen Go. My Zen Go has outputs which are going in right here into my PreSonus. Okay, now if you remember, this is my MPC1, this is my Zen Go. Okay, these are different inputs. So we got ST1 and ST2. So we got our sources right here. And if I want it mono, I can hit mono, hit the mono button. Now, not only do I have the outputs of the Zen Go here, I also have the inputs right here. So I have two different multi jacks. So this is gonna be line level, mic level, and instrument level, both of these. So we got two inputs right there that I can use and I can plug any of my mics in. So, you know, I got my Rode NT1, I got my Shure 57B, you know, I got my drum mics over here that I've been experimenting with. And, um, you know, I can plug any of those in right here. I can plug this one in, any of them. Once I plug my Zen Go into here and I plug my MPC into my PreSonus monitor station, these are actually sending line out right here to my studio monitors. So I got a left and right, and you can see there's an output here. I have a subwoofer. Now that's actually a Yamaha subwoofer and it's sending a line out to that. So I can have my speakers as far as my stereo speakers and my subwoofer, and each one of those can be turned on or off. So my actual speakers, my left and right speakers are here. So let's play something. Right? So, I can actually turn my speakers off and just have my subwoofer or turn the subwoofer off. See what I mean? Mute it. All right. Anyway, it's pretty neat what this thing can actually do. And when I'm making music, I'm pretty content with actually using this. If you look up here, you know, I do have this little light. I have my little shaky, all right, that I got from Guitar Center. You gotta love it. You got these little squishy things here, all right, little speaker stands that I got off Amazon. And then we got our monitor. This is just a 4K Dell monitor I use for video editing. But this is so I can have two things going on. So if you look, like I could have MPC up here and Ableton down there and use them together. Right, or vice versa, I have MPC or an Ableton up there if I want. Now this is the Logitech camera. This is the 1080p one. I know they got 4K ones out now and a bunch of different ones, but this one actually is pretty, pretty good. Um, I have it like this. I have it on this cheap stand back here. And you know, this way I could live stream, right? I could put it like this, live stream. Have, you know, my music here. Have my live stream software up here, camera here, all right? Or I could put this camera down like this. So if you look, this camera actually points down. So I might try to get this view as well as in, in the live stream. You know, I got different things coming up that I want to do that I'm planning. So definitely subscribe and stay tuned to this channel if you haven't already. This is the uh, 2QU USB microphone by Samson. This is actually a really good microphone, especially for the price. So you could come USB out to your computer with this jack or go XLR out here to you know a mixer which is what i was doing great live streaming mic great zoom call mic great you know just making videos mic it's a really good all-around microphone 
especially for the price and what it does. Now, I do want to talk about this monitor stand that I have this on. This is a Vivo stand. This is right there. I do need to clean it still. But um, it has a spot for a monitor here and a monitor here, right? Now, I could take this off if I want. Now, I do want to point this thing out over here. Here's another headphone stand. I'm just using this headphone stand as a, a cable holder. So I got my guitar cable here. I haven't installed this yet because I had to update my computer to the new Windows version, but this is the complete control right here. This is the, the version that doesn't have like the screen up here, right? Okay, this is the control A49. So basically you just plug it in USB. It controls a bunch of software that Native Instruments, you know, has or anything that uses the NKS protocol or what have you. So thanks for being here. Let's keep making music. Click or tap the screen over here. It's gonna take you to a video that YouTube thinks that you will like, and I'm sure it's gonna be a good one. Take care, talk soon, stay blessed.